winning tonight. So now I'm gonna jump into the excitement and energy of roulette. Put it all on black. Now that's fun. Let's go. Morongo, fun, excitement, energy, good times for everybody. If you've been injured in an accident, it's hard to know what to do. At Ellis Law, we, we have decades of experience fighting the insurance companies. We work harder and we get better results than anyone in California. And we've recovered more than half a billion dollars for our clients. We're with you every step of the way to get you the best results. No wonder we're called LA's legal heroes. A good settlement can help you get your life back together. We're Ellis Law, LA's legal heroes. Now at four, two homes are destroyed this afternoon. A massive landslide came crashing through a San Fernando Valley neighborhood while the homeowners were asleep. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And I'm Carlos Salcedo. The powerful landslide also destabilized the land in and around that neighborhood. KTLA's Rachel Menetoff joins us live from Sherman Oaks, where she spoke with neighbors who say they were shocked this happened. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Sam. Hi, Carlos. Good afternoon to you both. The landslide actually originated at a home further up Ventura Canyon Avenue, and it essentially had a domino effect, severely damaging two of the homes below it. This home here behind us was actually under construction, and as you'll see in our video, it was completely leveled. The video from Sky 5, stunning. A large and powerful landslide moved through this Sherman Oaks neighborhood very early Wednesday morning. As the sun started to rise, we got a glimpse of the extent of the damage along North Ventura Canyon Avenue near Rand Drive. It came as a shock to longtime neighbors. Scary. I was very worried that not only our, that our tenants could be hurt and all our friends in the neighborhood would be hurt and, that, and I'm thrilled that everybody's okay. Close-ups captured by LA City firefighters show the 30-foot drop-off where the land seemingly gave way. The initial home where the slide started is now yellow tagged with most of the damage to the backyard. The other two homes below it, red tagged. Here I am checking up on her. Jan came by to make sure her elderly mother is okay, and sure enough, she is. A lot of these homes are are um, built on hills, and they get the, the, the flooding that they had was two weeks ago, but uh, I guess the pressure builds up. The intense land movement shoved dirt through homes and cracked at least one of the swimming pools, which was drained to alleviate pressure. As it happens, the third home was under construction, and you can see the impact leveled it entirely. What exactly caused this to happen? We don't yet know, but historic February rain may have exacerbated it. When you have that amount of rainfall, the soil becomes very saturated. So it, we always advise people in all the hillside communities, all the canyon roads to use caution. Three people were evacuated early on and were allowed to return to their homes. Most importantly, no one was hurt. Jackie Ben owns a rental property up here. She says in recent years, it's been hard to insure these homes, which can be susceptible to natural disaster. I saw from a drone above of what the land looks like. It looks like an earthquake. It looks like the land split in two. You know, these properties are expensive and you have to maintain them. Building and safety has been out here all day long. It found that there's no immediate threat to any of the other homes on this block. But for this construction zone, it will eventually require all new permits once the land is secure. So likely a very costly cleanup process. We're live in Sherman Oaks. I'm Rachel Manitoff. Carlos Sam, back to you in the studio. Rachel, thank you. LAUSD officials say the person responsible for the threat at Taft High School yesterday has been arrested and is not a student at the school. They did not, however, reveal any other details about the person who was arrested. A picture of a gun was posted online, along with a message that said the school is getting shot during fourth period. That led to students frantically climbing fences to leave the school and parents rushing to pick up their kids. District officials say they don't believe the threat was threatable. Extra police have been deployed around the campus out of what the district calls an abundance of caution. A significant drop in enrollment has led to layoffs at the Anaheim Union High School District. Nearly two.